you know, every organization uh, rises and falls with the people who form it and who work for it, right? Your stories are really inspirational. And I know how much work goes in to change. It's not easy. And sometimes you make that change and you fall back and you make that change again and you fall back and you make it again, especially when, you know, you are addicted to drugs. Um, it's, it's incredibly difficult to make the necessary changes. So there's a, a former Supreme Court Justice, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, you might have heard of her, no, notorious B.I.G. Not B.I.G. <laughs> R.B.G. Um, she, my favorite expression of hers is this. Real change, meaningful change, begins one change at a time. And so the work you are doing is transformational. It's transformational for each one of you, but it's inspiring for everybody who will come after you, for everybody who will follow. And so you are now a source of inspiration for others who are trying to make those hard changes, that one change, that time when you're gonna say, I'm not going back there, I'm going forward. And so one of my closest friends in the world is Corey Priest. I met Corey at the Achievement Center because I was serving on the board. Uh, I wanted to really understand uh, in depth what it means to go through reentry. That was eye-opening because it's darn hard to come out and do the work that you're doing. And so Corey taught me so very much and, and the greatest gift that Corey has ever given to me is a word called hope. And I know that as long as you have hope that there's a future. My job is really to give everybody in the state of Delaware hope for a better future. And so people say, how do you like your job? I say, well, I love my job and I can tell you all do too. I love my job because each day I get to wake up in the morning and help other people. Who gets to do that? Well, you are doing it here. And there is no better job in the world than that because each and every day, the work you're doing is meaningful, it's important, and you are believing in yourselves, which is the most important. So Charlie and I have spent a lot of years together. He's older than I am, but we have spent a lot of years together. We've uh, started in the AG's office together. We then uh, went into private practice. Charlie ran for the US Senate in a really bad year for Democrats. Uh, and the next day was his birthday, I think. And uh, we said, Char Charlie, I think we ought to hang our shingle out. And for 16 years, we were defending people accused of crime. So I saw just a very different side to the criminal justice system. And when I decided to run, I did it for one reason, to fix what's broken. And that doesn't mean that certain people don't have to go to prison. It means that yes, there will always be prisons that we're not gonna just like magically wave a wand and do away with it. But I also believe in the power of redemption. And you've given me that faith. You've renewed my faith today. So thank you for that. Um, I had the great good fortune to meet Pat May back in the day. <laughs> And you know, you also are an amazing source of inspiration for everybody here and for people throughout this state. Um, the work you do, the work you have done, and you believe, I know, in the power of redemption because you act it out each and every day. So thank you, Pat, for everything you do. All right, that's about it. <laughs> thank you.